The Poe Politikin Show is brought to you by Audible. With over 180,000 titles to choose from, Audible is great for any continuous learner wanting to grow and expand their knowledge and insight. Go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO Audio and get an audiobook of your choice free with a 30-day trial. After the trial, your paid membership will begin at $14.95 per month. With your membership, you will receive one credit every month, good for an audiobook on Audible. Cancel before your trial ends and you will not be charged. So go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO Audio and download a free book by Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Damon John, and more. Always remember that knowledge is power. Popolitikin.com. What up, y'all? It's Fresh from DE, and I'm politicking with Poe at Popolitikin. This is what they want. Oh. oh. This is what you play, getting turned for the show, when you out for the day. This is what you listen to when it's Friday and you just got paid. Oh, it's graduation day, birthday cake. I finally got to it. It was birthday way. Oh, you rolling up, you faded. Now you really hearing the music. Put your headphones on and dry out the world because they lit your fuses. Yeah. When I get to the top, I'm going big fuck you. Because they only want what they want when they want. They don't care if they got to rush you. Now when I ask for something, they just want to duck you. It's cool. Cause I'm already aware of what a nigga must do. Never put it past you. Tell them that I got big plans if they ask you. Had to change my scenery, had a bad view. Got in my zone and made it actual. Every day I gotta grab it. Flip it, repeat the pattern. I be routine practice. I'm just here to make a standard. Periodically advancing. Chronically I'm taking chances. I be routine practice. Flip it, repeat the pattern. Every day I gotta grab it. I'm just here to make a standard. Periodically advancing. Chronically I'm taking chances. I be routine practice. Flip it, repeat the pattern. I'm just here to make a standard. Periodically advancing. Welcome back to PolPolitikin.com, your home for self help meets hip hop. Make sure you download our app and subscribe to our podcast. I'm now politicking with the homie Fresh from DE. How you doing, hey. bro? What's going on, bro? How's it going? I'm great. So what Fresh from DE? DE is Delaware or? Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Delaware. Mad people be like Detroit, um, Denver, anything that begins with like a D or has an E in it. Yeah, but like, no, it's Delaware. Delaware to be official. So why don't you just go like, just do the whole thing, Fresh from Delaware, so they don't get confused? I mean, cause I feel like that name it would be too it would be too long. Uh, I feel like <laughs> makes it clear and concise, and and at that like it's it, it's kind of like it, it leaves it open ended. You know what I mean? You can kind of question you know, it. Yeah, yeah. Now you're asking the question, so I guess you know. Hey, there we are. All right. So I got a question about Delaware. So what is Delaware famous for? Ah. Uh... And it like one of the smallest states. I know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's famous for the small state. All the license plates say the first state. So like, it's like they were the first state to sign like the Constitution or whatever back when like you know. So it's like that's some of their claim to fame. But a lot of businesses actually open up their um business in Delaware. Oh yeah, it sure do because the taxes yeah, is better. Yeah, it's tax free. So I mean, like, you know, what I mean that's. That's one of the that's one of the things I guess you could say Delaware is kind of known for. All right, so I want you to talk about your background. Let us know like how long you've been in music, kind of what drove you to it. Um, well, I started like uh, kind of writing lyrics when I was like ten. Um, my my father passed away at that time, so I think it was kind of like a coping mechanism. But um, I think just because of my energy and just how I was, it just kind of manifested into, uh, you know, really creating music and got, getting a little bit into like, um, uh, I think I started out battle rapping, like freestyling with friends kind of thing, you know, then, then went on to music, 
started making songs and now like here I am I I actually moved away from Delaware to um to Boston to um to go to school for audio so I can kind of apply that um the sound and all that stuff back to my um on the technical aspect to my music um and now I'm like you know here I am now um just kind of following following my craft just from um um you know from Delaware now now over to Boston and kind of even even building a little bit in Boston as well all right, so what was the uh, first song you heard that kind of got you hooked to hip hop? Um, I was I feel like hip hop was kind of like I I was um um just growing up. I feel like it was it was one of those things I just I don't know. I kind of I would always hear it. Um, Biggie stuff and um like really old Wu Tang stuff, but um really like inspired my like really love for like kind of because I. I would say it inspired my artistry because that kind of in terms made me get more like into hip hop even more um, was probably uh, the lyrics is lounge show uh, a while ago and just how they added um, freestyles like to their sketch comedy. Like I felt like, and I think that's when I started branching off and being like, Oh, I want to freestyle about this guy driving next to me or oh, I want to freestyle about this person in the car. Right. You know what I mean? So when that like, show, this show was on MTV, right? Yeah, MTV. Yeah, yeah. They, they had like lyricist lounge. They were doing a tour um, before the show, and like, they had a CD. Had, yeah, yeah. It, well, well like, I think they had like a, a version of the show, but like not like on TV. You know what I mean? It was like um, kind of live. And then I think they brought it. They brought it um, um, to the. Uh, um, they brought it to MTV. I'm thinking like it. It first came out on MTV, but like I, it's it was something that they started before, and it just so happened to kind of. Uh, um, be on MTV, and that's where I kind of was like, oh, wow, like, I like how we applied that to, to that, and that's kind of what really kind of sparked my interest from our artistry, which kind of got me more into hip-hop as well. All right, and what would you say you, you're you bringing to the hip-hop culture? What are you adding to the culture? Um, I want to say, I want to generally say motivation, but in a different way, I, I, I feel like a lot of a lot of the stuff in the game, like people don't want to act like they work for it, you know, or not don't act like they don't work for it, but it's like, oh, I want to go in and and work five minutes on this song, and oh, I work, you know, this little on this, and it's like people always want everything to 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 come. At least that's what like um the 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 stigma is in in the in the culture, and I feel like I'm I'm just bringing that. Yo, listen, I'm working hard, like kind of that regular person kind of vibe like even if you don't got it like you can work for it just like kind of that that simplistic kind of mentality and just like thinking above and uh, uh above and beyond you know just some of the just some of this some of the the nonsense and stuff that just deters you from getting to your goals and whatnot yeah i'm gonna say the ones that that don't work hard for it them the ones that don't last so if you don't work hard for it you probably don't you know you'll have your little one hit but that'll be it I mean, yeah no exactly no no yeah i mean sustainability is a whole nother is a whole nother skill set besides just you know ne- you know getting there and then what are your current projects you're working on um right now i just released the project called the ritual um, that, um, was all produced by a guy named Roka Beats over in Netherlands, over in the Netherlands. Um, he's done some of my, well, a, a couple, well, one of my, um, biggest songs called Aston Martin, um, probably going to pass a million views this year on SoundCloud. And, and we got a video, um, actually in store for that. So that's coming up. Um, right now, this summer, I've been doing, um, a lot of shows. So the shows is really what I've been, um, really what I've been kind of uh, attacking for the most part. Um, just, I would say, the past uh, five five to six months, and then just la- two months ago, I put out the project. So as of right now, I just dropped new material, so I'm get- so it's visuals and shows right now for me. Yeah, what are some of your interests outside of music? Um, I would say exercising. Um, I mean, I, I, I go to the YMCA in the morning. I, you know, I try to play basketball. I do some of that just cause I, from working on music and, and doing that stuff, I sit down probably, you know, 12 to 15 hours every day. And, and like the human body isn't really designed for that. I already noticed like health deficiencies in myself. So, 
you know, I, I, I go to the gym and make sure I, uh, um, I get some exercise. Um, at one point, I, man, I used to play a lot of video games at one point, but I mean, since then I haven't really done that. Um, I like anime. I'll be watching some, some Dragon Ball Z and stuff. Um, let's see what else I travel. Um, but I mean, I travel, but I'll say in the past, literally in the past, like year and a half is when I've really done my traveling before that I really haven't. But, um, <coughs> so I would say most recently, definitely traveling. And then you was talking about, you was talking about basketball. So I want you to name, uh, let's say like, just like hip hop. So name, name your starting five right now in hip hop. Oh, in hip hop. Um, are we saying new or old or whatever? Like right now. Okay, right like now. You got to pick a team right now. You the coach. Oh, um, I would say, I mean, obviously probably Kendrick. Um, Cole. Um, let's see. Who, who else? Who else is stuff that I like? Um, I like, um, I like the beat choices of currency. I like some of that, uh, the smooth, like kind of swagged out type beats. Um, I also say currency if like I was if I'm am I picking the team and then I'm the coach, is that what's is that is that what we're yeah. um, like okay, so like yeah, I feel like currency could expand a little bit um on his sound and I also I feel like um I mentioning going to Boston and learning about sound and stuff, I, I actually I, I engineer and I mix and record all my own material. So I feel like um, I have that to offer, um, at least as far as currency, to spice up his tracks because I think sometimes he he he's in a form. I love his beat choices, his lyrics. I I, I, def, I definitely like his lyrics. I think though he could expand on certain aspects. So I I, I would, but I I think for sure like the sky's the sky's the limit. So I I would say him just as far as swagginess. Um, chance Chance the rapper. Um, so it's, we got Chance. Currency, Kendrick, Cole, and a fifth one. I mean, I could say Hove or I could say Drake, but like, I mean, like, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna try to say right right now. Like, yeah, I would, right. I would say uh, I interviewed Currency before. I said he ain't that. Uh, you should hit him up, man. You never know. Yeah, you're right. No, nah, no, nah, honestly, you're right. Oh, and um, I would say Dizzy Wright. Now that I'm saying you're right, Dizzy Wright. Um, All right. I, and then who would, you, really, who would you, who would you, what player would you place the franchise tag on and build a team around? I mean, probably Kendrick just already because of his longevity and what he already does. I mean, he just, he's kind of like, he's kind of trying to move towards just that, as far as branding, just being that, um, being that franchise kind of guy. So, I mean, I definitely have to say that. Yeah. And I want you to talk about some of the sacrifice you made for your career. Whew, man, a lot. Honestly, um, one of the um, one of the oh, whoop, whoop. one of the main like sacrifice sacrifices. I would say your comfort zone. Um, and that goes in so many different layers. Like it's that it's actually a very deep um concept to to sacrifice what you're comfortable in um i specifically say just from moving from delaware to to boston um and that being like one of the things that that catapulted my skills to the next level at least i feel like that catapulted like just how i look at things and my skills to the next level um but at the same time um sometimes people get stuck in like their like tri-state area or like their area, which is good, but at least for what I, at least for where I've been and and um, where I am, is specifically Delaware being such a small like place and not really having a community and stuff. Uh, well, having a small music community, it was like I needed to 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 go outward and um, doing that. A lot of things changed. Just different people. I mean, all the people you grew up with, you're not you're not gonna know people in that type of way. I mean, just mannerisms, how people talk with each other, how people joke with each other. Like, a lot of those things make you have this very not home kind of feel. And just having that kind of feel puts you on edge. And I feel like some of that kind of limits you to, like, letting things kind of flow. You want to, like, I don't know, it just it, it just adds more, like, frustration and smoke to like, and cloudiness to what you're trying to do rather than just focusing on what, what your craft is. You're worried about like 
any other aspect of something that's going on just because you're not you're not in that comfort zone. And yeah, where do you see a career five years from now? Coachella. I'm performing at Coachella. All right. I had a friend of mine that doubted me and I always live for stuff like that. So Coachella, that's where I'm gonna be performing. Alright, this is up. And then uh what do you say some of the keys to success are? <sighs> A lot of the keys of success come in the same like type concept, but in different formats. But I'm going to give something uh, consistency, consistency and sustainability. If you're able to stay consistent and sustain yourself to keep yourself going, I mean, that's that's part of it. And showing up, showing up. There you go. Showing up. Showing up is showing out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And being... And being consistent with doing that and sustaining that, like, so I mean, I think those are that's probably my best. If you can keep those things going, like, you know, and just keep an open mind, I think, you know, people will be you'll be able to get through. I mean, you might have the same answer for this one, but what advice would you give to new artists? Yeah, same thing. Yeah, exactly. You know, so stay, stay consistent and just sustain yourself, because I mean, you know, even taking. Big gaps. It's like you want to still keep yourself out there and whatnot. Like, just definitely, definitely be consistent. And I mean, just what everyone else always says: don't give up. All that other kind of good stuff, you know. The yeah, sky's the limit. Believe in yourself. Anything's possible. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, yo, it's unfortunate that it's generalistic, like general stuff. But like, it it really is like the truth and it's and it's so hard to explain it to someone until it's like a real life scenario. All right, so I want you to share a life hack with us. So something that you do in your life that improves it dramatically. Um I think exercising in the morning. Like it's it I think that's another thing with sacrificing your comfort zone cuz I really don't like to be a morning person, but doing that like I feel like it it just boosts your your morale just a just enough throughout the day that like whatever you were mad at before you work it off in the workout whatever you're like like i feel like it's just one of those release kind of things and then what? now like, you go once you get over like kind of like feeling achy and knowing how to work out and be and and eat not to say i'm doing all those things perfectly but like once you can kind of get around it and and be okay with it i think it's something that that at least boosts your energy and i think energy is it's everything. I mean, at least to me and for what I do. What would you like to say to your fans, people that have been supporting your career so far? Yo, man, yo, thank you so much. Sometimes I, I check and people be actually checking for me and I don't even realize it. And I just want to give a big shout out to all those people. I When I'm at my shows, I stamp dollar bills and pass them out. Just recently, someone got my dollar bill in Virginia somehow. I don't know how, but big shout out to all those people who go and check it out, check me out, and just rock with me just off the strength of that and just what i'm doing man it like it really like i'm gonna be general again it keeps me going like stuff like that is really like fuel all right man i want to say thank you for coming through politicking with me hey no problem yo thanks for having me on man yeah, no doubt you want to tell me your social media oh yeah everything is at fresh from de fresh from de um soundcloud twitter instagram facebook.com slash fresh from de check me out I mean, do you think social media is important? Yeah, I mean, now it is. I mean, people are making it important. As far as branding, I mean, you have to do it in a, in, in a certain way. So, I mean, I definitely understand, like, and, I, and I'm and i one that is not too big on social, on um, doing every little thing in my life. But, hey, sometimes you got to document stuff and let people know you're out there, you know? Poepolitikin.com what up, y'all? It's Fresh from DE, and I'm politicking with Poe at Poe Politicking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. I'm high on myself, you not in my bracket. I'm eyeing the belt, I'm eyeing the wealth. Once I get it, you can't tell me nothing. I'm high on myself. I got a plan. I'm eyeing the belt. I'm eyeing the wealth. Once I get it, you can't tell me nothing. I'm high on myself. I'm high on myself. Oh, I'm high on myself. I'm high on myself. Oh, I'm high on myself. 
bust up. Feel like a billion bucks. Anyone who see me better know what's up. The buzz got a bubble, now you see me erupt. If you ain't showing love, better keep your mouth shut. I don't hear, sorry, guess I got you tuned out. Zoning, I just do it big like I'm living for the moment. But any type of negativity or any fake shit is safe for me to say I don't condone it. Too busy being stupendous. You can be a prince, I'm a style like an emperor. Let me adjust my pitch for the tempo. I feel like I ball in Sacramento. No, I handle all my adventures. We not the same, I made from a different texture. When it comes to flow, I got a plethora. Then I hit him with the words from the lecture. I'm about to go cross seas where a nigga gotta ride a vest, but cooler than a Mentos. You can say the songs, I'm a Mento. A reminder that I nigga been dope. Drop bombs in the world with my trade in a pen stroke. This ain't no conspiracy, nah, this factual. I hit him with the truth to the maximum, I'm so high. Got me smoking at Nuvo, got me higher than Pluto. No mid that's a no no, that's a no no, that's a no no. On another level, man, I've been fly. Never changed up, done the same guy. Ain't really gotta say, cause they know, cause they know, cause they know. I'm high on myself, you not in my bracket. I'm eyeing the belt, I'm eyeing the wealth. Once I get it, you can't tell me nothing. I'm high on myself. I got a plan. I'm eyeing the belt. I'm eyeing the wealth. Once I get it, you can't tell me nothing. I'm high on myself. I'm high on myself. Oh, I'm high on myself. I'm high on myself. Oh, I'm high on myself. Relevant. I got a gift and it's heaven sent, it's heaven sent, it's heaven sent Everything I do I put my all inside I gotta get it, you ain't stalling mine I Ain't looking at your money cause my wallet's fine My wallet's fine I'm high on myself, you not in my bracket I'm eyeing the belt, I'm eyeing the wealth Once I get it, you can't tell me nothing I'm high on myself, I got a plan I'm eyeing the belt, I'm eyeing the wealth once I get it, you can't tell me nothing. I'm, I'm high, high on myself. myself. You're not in my pocket. Huh. I'm high in the belt. I'm, I'm high on myself. myself. Oh, I'm high on myself. Thanks for listening to PopePolitikin.com, a self-help meets hip-hop brand. If you are an artist or business owner wanting to be featured on PopePolitikin.com, contact us at PopePolitikin at gmail.com. That's P-O-P-O-L-I-T. I-C-K-I-N at gmail.com or text 760-717-5803. If you're a listener that enjoys the show and wants to support, you can donate to popolitikin.com via paypal.com. Please send donations to popolitikin at gmail.com. Any amount will be helpful in continuing to create quality content and shows. As always, check out popolitikin.com for past episodes. Make sure you subscribe to Popolitikin on iTunes, YouTube, Podomatic, Stitcher Radio, and Google Play.